Hello, everybody. My name is Nemo. And uh, one of you said in the comments to the uh, previous video for this uh, deck, the Gruel Smash deck, I made in sealed that I should be doing my Gruel Boss voice <laughs> that I was using earlier in uh, <laughs> in the Berserker Rage videos. So uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing it for the whole video, but I thought you guys shouldn't be missing out on that. So. I thought I'd record an extra video with this. I was actually going to go ahead and, and make a different deck, but I uh, figured I'd do an extra video with this one just to get that in there. So we're playing, uh, <laughs> we're playing Gruel Smash, my uh, Gruel Seal deck against Mandalu, who is apparently not playing a card and um, has been replaced by AI. Okay, well, let's get somebody else to play against. All right, we finally found someone else who wants to play with us. Um, yep, okay, we'll keep this hand. Got some slivers going here. We have this guy that we can't really play yet because we don't have a third mountain. And I'd really prefer to have four mountains, in fact, with him. But uh, we have a predatory sliver, we have a blur sliver, and we have an open token for him. And my opponent is playing a 1 1 flyer and he's running 100 cards. Really? You're gonna be running 100 cards? You're gonna be running crap like this 1-1 one, one fly- I, uh, whatever, I'm not even- I'm not gonna complain. I mean, some people just- just pick up the game and start playing online. They have no idea. They don't know. Who knows? It's- a, it's- it's just kind of frustrating for me, because I want to bring you guys the best videos. And this is- You're gonna see, now- now he's just gonna- now he's just gonna, you know- Now he's just gonna win, because he's gonna draw like the best card ever in his deck. I'm gonna lose to it after complaining, so that's just justice, right? That's justice right there. Let's see if he has a removal spell here. Um, I guess there's. Hmm. Whatever, we'll attack. I guess there's a possibility of him having a combat trick. He has a giant growth, okay. Well. That's how it goes sometimes. I mean, he passed the turn doing nothing, and I expected, like, maybe he has a combat trick because of that, but then again, I was I was also thinking, well, he's running 100 cards, maybe he just drew nothing. <laughs> That's a possibility, too, so... I guess I could have played a little bit more conservatively. The thing is, then I get to Oaken form something, and um, the other thing still can't attack, so if I'm losing one creature, that's fine still. Um, and I will open form here. He has three colors of mana there. I don't know. Maybe he has another giant growth. Well, it's not gonna work this time, so. Maybe he has something else. But yeah, we are playing my. Crawl Smash deck. And ow, that, that hurts the voice. That hurts the voice. <laughs> And he's dropping an island here, so maybe he's only three colors, who knows, maybe he's five colors. Maybe just inserted all of the cards, just all of the cards are in his deck, maybe. I don't... Like in Sealed, there's there's like the whole thing that gives you uh, advice on, on what to play and, and stuff. So I can't really... I don't really understand why, if that's the case, why he's still... No, I don't want to tap a mountain, please. That would be a horrible mistake. Um, so... Hang on, just making sure, making sure. Yeah, it's the left one. That's not gonna be tapped. So there we go. Counter spell. Yeah, it's not a creature I'm playing, so you can't counter spell it. So, yeah, because there's only creature counter spells in the in sealed environment. There's a redirect, and I guess that can turn one of my other mountains into this guy. So at least he doesn't have haste this turn. Yeah, because he doesn't run mountains right now, so <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty good for me. I'm still not not terrible. Uh, I'm I'm still not unhappy about this. Next turn, I'll get to play my dragon as well. And yeah, the redirect wasn't the best here, but at least it saved him for seven damage this turn. Maybe he's just doing a challenge, you know? Because again, with the sealed, the whole the whole sealed deck builder that just tells you like. Um, you know, how you should be playing your... Oh shit, that taps my 7-7. Ah, oh, 
That's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. Okay, he's going to turn to frog. My dragon. Well, actually, that, that's great, because they saved my 7-7. Seven, seven. But they're having it this turn, so he only turned to frog my dragon. That's, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Played it wrong and got rewarded. That is that is how you should play video games. That is that is my advice right there. <laughs> so now he's going to play mass removal. I would expect and just ruin my day. Ruin my day. Is he going to have to make something indestructible? Yeah, he makes one of his lands indestructible. Okay. I was like, is that a turn and target non-land permanent indestructible? But no. Well, either way, we can just smash on in there. Ah, uh, sorry. We can just smash on in there, and we'll have the victory here. We'll even throw in a GG. And I would expect he just quit the game at this point or something. I don't know what's going on. What is going on, JJ dot Perry? Okay, so we got that win. I'll be switching to another uh, video, uh, another, another opponent here, if I can find one. That is, um, I mean, sorry, JJ Perry, but I'd rather play against someone who's actually running 60 cards. I'm not going. I, I don't want to diss anybody, but I am making a video here, and I'd like it to be. I'd like it to have some quality to it. So, yeah, I'll see you in the uh, when the next opponent shows up. And no lands here. All right, let's. God, no forests. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, if I get a creature, I'm okay. I don't really want to go down to five, so I guess I'll keep this, but yeah, I'm not too thrilled. I'm actually... Do I, I don't I don't run any one drops. I do run two drops, but I can play the Swiftfoot Boots. Oh, I actually can't. Um, I can't play the Swiftfoot Boots if I get my land now, so... Yeah, okay, I'll get a, I'll get a mountain. That's the thing. The thing is, if you run... Um, land destruction then you can just remove my forest and I only have one but I'm also running two creatures that require me to have quite a few mountains on the board so I'd like to get some mountains out and there's a removal spell that I can't really use without a creature so eh. <laughs> I'd love to draw a creature please he is running Golgari apparently and there's a ravenous reds um, Um, I think we just ditch the Hunt the Week here. Without a creature, it's gonna be hard to kill something. I feel like ditching a land here would be a mistake, so... I could be wrong, of course. You could play something I really need to deal with, and now I remove my one removal spell, but I got another one, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna play my open form on his guy. Um, no. That seems like it would be a mistake. I can't be sure about it, but uh, yeah, that seems like it would be used. There's a dude with Death Touch, so now I kind of need a flyer. Um, yeah, so. Well, at least Oaken Form wouldn't have dealt with the Death Touch, so there's a thing. Mm, doesn't seem like I'm getting... Okay, well, there's a flyer, uh, but yeah, I need two more lands to be able to play it. I need three more lands to be able to play it and equip the Swiftfoot Boots to it. Oh, Ugh. probably gonna lose this one. Just saying. There's Dungrove Elder. I definitely lost this one. I just, I, there's no way I can beat that. <laughs> Don't run any mass removal or something. Um, and that thing is X-proof and it's just gonna be bigger and bigger the more force he plays. And uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. In fact, there's nothing I can do about it except try and race him and I don't have creatures down. So, this is not going well for me. It's going swimmingly for my opponent. Um, he must be super thrilled about this, uh, about this game, but it's not so much going well for me, so. That's what you get, you're right. That's what you get. And there's a Mark of the Vampire on his Hexproofer. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just a lost cause at this point. It's a lost cause, guys. I don't get to smash anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna lose. I am just going to lose against, uh... F. Niccolo. 
Not much I can do about that. There's another volcanic dragon that I just can't play and he's going to attack me for 7 damage. So even if I get to play it next turn, it has the jump block. Um, and this thing is just going to be gaining life as well. So if I get the land, I'm not even going to play my volcanic dragon because it's just the last card at this point. We'll just, we'll just try and make this game go as fast as possible so I can get in a rematch here. Um, there's, there's just there's just no way. There's just no way. No way, Jose. I mean, I couldn't even play open form there in that same turn on my Blur Sliver to make it at least be able to trade with his 5-5. Five five. Uh, it's just not going to be happening. So we take the damage and uh, we hopefully get a rematch. We hopefully get a chance to rematch him. Because that wasn't really the deck doing... What it does, it wasn't doing anything at all. So yeah. Start jewel. Start j -j 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 jewel. Oh wait, that's the wrong uh, card game. Yeah, I like this guy. Uh, I don't like having one land here. And there's two might evokes. Wow. Huh. Sweet. Oh, I did forget to tell you. I actually uh, put those uh, one two death touch spiders back in. I I think in the deck build video I, I forgot I had them after taking them out when I was building the free color deck and uh, I ended up putting in the 4-1 uh, the uh, guys and stuff like that and uh, those 1-2 death touch spiders they're not very aggressive but at least they're better than, than running um, the 4-1 dudes and um, I guess we're dropping Garouk's pack leader uh, he's running black. I don't really want to drop a creature. Um, well, shit. Um, 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 let's drop. Yeah, we, we have to drop it. I just, I need, I need all the land I can get here. So, let's ditch this for a mountain here. And drop the mountain. And we'll be in our turn. And we will... We don't have a turn free play, so I'll just drop the predatory delivery here. And unless I drop a turn, f uh, unless I get a turn free play, it won't really end up hurting me too much. They have dropped it here, because then I can terramorphic expense next turn and not be in a whole lot of trouble for it. We got two might evokes, which is kind of nice. Um, this two two can't trade with his giant scorpion unless I want to use might evokes on it, and then that really counterproductive to what I'm trying to do because the reason I'd want to kill it is to get by so I can actually deal him some damage with the Mighty Folks. Um, so I'd rather trade my Rumbling Bale off for the uh, Giant Scorpion and I have to use Mighty Folks and this guy and still lose the guy. But now he has two Giant Scorpions so that plan isn't gonna work either way. Um, so now we just gotta hope that the Volcanic Dragon can bring it home basically. So. That's what we're going for. We are getting a mountain here before his end step, just so I don't get screwed by lag. So I don't get screwed by lag. And we can see if the, uh, if the deck can bring it home in a second here. So this turn we got to drop a forest, so we can actually play a Rumbling Bailoff. I think the only card in my deck with double cream in the cast. It's kind of hilarious. Um, and we'll pass the turn here. Say go and see what uh, F. Niccolo will be doing. He's probably not not unhappy about this state of affairs. He can still attack with one of the good dudes. I can't really block. Because, I mean, eventually I'm gonna block with this. I just can't see a way of him getting around them anyway. It's not like I have an enchantment and give my guys flying or anything, so... Um, yeah, eventually I think I just end up blocking his, at least one of those uh, those scorpions, with the four four, so that he can't attack with him anymore. Um, but we'll wait the turn just to see. I, I can't really imagine anything I can. I mean, if he has some kind of flyer, maybe I can kill it with the four four four, and uh, you know, using. Um, he has all his lands open. I'm not really happy about throwing out my volcanic dragon into all those open lands there, but we gotta do it. 
We gotta do what we gotta do. And uh, looks like we'll be able to deal him four at least before he uh, gets to assassinate or whatever he has. Because um, I'm guessing he does have removal, but it's gonna be an assassinate if he doesn't kill it on my turn. Uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. And yeah. Maybe he still plays a flyer. Who knows? Who knows? He's at seven lands, he could play a rune scar demon here. And I guess this thing, even with. Uh, Okay, Deadly Recluse, I'm, I'm not unhappy about that. Um, let's get in for 4 and wait until the very last moment before we might evoke. Because... If I do this right now, I deal him 11 damage, yeah that's worth it. Hopefully he doesn't have a murdering response. He does, that's great. Or a plummet, or something. He's pausing an awfully long time about this. I would think if you have removal, you... Oh, okay, he has a fog. Well, that's something. Yeah, that's worth playing here. That is worth playing here. Okay, well, at least I don't lose my dragon, so... That's fine. Okay, we're gonna play this deadly recluse, and we're gonna pass the turn here. Now I can... I don't really want to trade a deadly recluse for a giant scorpion. Deadly recluse is just better. And stop his flyers. Um, so at this point I'm just thinking he's not even attacking right now, okay. We're gonna get a forest or a mountain. We're gonna get a mountain. I don't care. <laughs> you need more mountains than forest. Okay. Seven. And that's fourteen. I'm not gonna use the Might of Oaks just yet then. Looks like he really doesn't have a uh, removal spell, so that spells good news for my next turn. Um, if he plays a Ravenous Red here, I'm gonna regret not having played Might of Oaks. That's just a thing. That is just a thing, but we'll see if we can, we can kill him this turn. It would really suck if he does play removal here. I'm gonna wait until last, last second and then... Might of Oaks. For the win. Hopefully. Yep. Alright. Great stuff. We got a win here. We picked up a win. And it's now 1 and 1 for both of us. Um, so it looks like he just got screwed in the uh, luck department there. And I got screwed in the luck department last game. Hopefully the third game will be a little bit more interesting for the both of us. And... Uh... Ooh. Ha. Hmm. Herm. I um, guess this is good enough. I don't like having two high cost guys uh, right now, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. So he's running over 40. Did I say 60 card decks earlier with the guy who was running 100 that he should be running 60? He should be running 40. It's sealed. <laughs> um. Yeah, it looks like we don't have a turn free play, so I may as well play the Swift Food Boot so I can equip when I play my uh, my Predatory Sliver. That just puts the boots out there and I can immediately equip so I dodge any Sorcery Speed removal that he may have. Although, um, I mean, Assassinate is free, man, I'm not too, so. Um, yeah, I don't. Hmm. Don't want to ditch a land. Do we want to ditch Volcanic Dragon? Last game it was very, very helpful. I also don't really want to ditch Karuk's Pack Leader or Predatory Slayer. I don't really want to ditch anything. Um, as much as I don't like those reds, they are doing a number on me in all of the games I'm playing with this deck. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna ditch Karuk's Pack Leader, I guess. I, I just see that. I always end up ditching him. <laughs> I mean, he could be really good with uh, with life gain and all that. Ah, now we gotta hope we don't get a turn four play. But we do have to play this and equip this turn, um, and then we have to wait with the Terramorph expanse for next turn. The T morphed. The T morphed. 
I'm running quite a number of Paramorph expenses in this one. Uh, maybe four is too much, but uh, I just like having four of them, at least in sealed. I don't know, I don't feel like um, tempo is that important in sealed. I am playing an aggressive deck, but mostly hoping to end them with flyers. So. Um, I'll ditch the forest. Yeah, I'll ditch, I'll ditch the forest. I want to keep my dragon. I just want to keep my dragon. So, um, Even though ditching a land makes it less useful, um, a lot of my other plays are, you know, four or less mana. So, in fact, the volcanic dragons are the only thing right now that are more than that. So he drew a mountain. If he's running, yeah, he can double block. He can double block. I'm gonna stay back because if I draw a different sliver, then that's gonna be more useful to be attacking with that sliver. Or if I draw the uh, first strike sliver, I can still be attacking with the two two without having to trade it. Right now, I'm just gonna stay back. So it's just the way it's gonna be. And now it's the question: Do I want a, f a mountain or a forest? Um, because he is playing green, he could have, now it's in red, I guess, whatever, we'll get a mountain, because if I get the, the mountain guy, then I'm more happy having a mountain. Alright, so now I could attack and use the Might of Oaks to deal with this, but I don't feel that's worth it, so, I'd rather use the Might of Oaks on the Volcanic Dragon, especially with Swiftfoot Boots, it seems like a great play. Um, he doesn't have two swamps, and he's again stuck on three lands, which I can't think he's happy about. And now we've got all the lands here, so we can't can play Volcanic Dragon, and all he can do is assassinate. So we're going to play it and stay back with it, I guess. Yeah, it seems like a play. Um, he could plummet it. That, that, would be, that would be painful. But other than that, the only thing he can do, as long as he doesn't draw a second swamp, is... is uh, Assassinate. So I want to dodge the assassinate before, uh, you know, next turn I'll be safe with having the Swiffer Boots equipped to it. So just playing around assassinate here by not attacking. I don't feel like the four damage is something I'm gonna really miss. Um, looks like, you know, if we get the Swiffer Boots equipped, then looks like we'll be in the clear from then on because he's still stuck on free lands and it's just gonna be, he's gonna have to catch up. I mean, it's going to be pretty difficult for him to do. Ooh, that's... Ha! Huh. Well, since we have two of them, I am going to attack with both of them, and he can only kill one, so... Eh, even if he has the, uh, the assassinate at this point, it is worth to attack with both of them. Have them tapped, and none of them have X-proof. Because, yeah... I'll still be able, even if he kills one, I'll still be able to equip the Swift Boots on the other one next turn. Now. That is good enough for me. So there's a Plummet. He didn't play it earlier, he was... I don't know why he played it after I attacked him. Maybe, maybe lag? Huh, so he's waiting for me to equip the Swift Boots and then Plummet my guy. Um, and there's a second Swamp, so now he can also murder my guy. And then I would be just unhappy. Just unhappy. That would just be the case. Um, Mark of the Vampire. Well, alright. I mean, I get to attack for two with my guy next to him. Um, if he lets it in, I kill him, so... Unfortunately, I can't play this and my folks. Well, let's just attack first. He stepped out. Um, so let me see if he lets it in, because I have 6 damage here plus 7 is actually 13. If he lets the damage through, then I win. And otherwise, I may have, may have not wanted to play Mightyfolk, so that I would still have mana open for Blur Sliver, etc. So, yeah. There's the win, and that is two games against him. Or, two games won against him, one game won by him. And I think that'll do. That'll, that'll get me through. Although, we might want to add just, just an extra game outside of the best out of three. Um, 
Because yeah, I'm close to free 30 minutes, but there's some downtime where I was trying to find the game, so yeah. I'm gonna cut out of the video, so to make it a 30 minute video, I guess we can get another game. Um, playing some more Girl Smash! And, uh,. I kinda like this hand. Okay, we'll keep it. Um, yeah. If I never get a third land, I'm unhappy about this, this hand. About this land. I'm unhappy about this hand if I never get a third land. But otherwise, I should be fine. I really feel like he, he knows I have the Might of Oaks. He's seen two of them. So, in, in, the, in the game before, the uh, last game, so. If I was him, I'd probably have blocked, but hey, I mean... It is kind of an unexpected card. you dealing so much damage out of nowhere. Didn't get the third land yet, so all we're doing here is attacking for one rather than five, four. And that is a little unfortunate. Instead, we drew a six cost, which I'm probably never going to be able to play, so I'm starting to like this hand a lot less all of a sudden. And yeah, that's best turn. And we also have this Volcanic Geyser, which is going to be hard to play. Well, at least I can plumb that, so that's what we're going to do. No life gain for you. And we get in for four. Dandy, we drew a land at the right time there. That was alright with me. We turned late, but still... But it actually worked out pretty well. Um... Although, otherwise, I, I could have dealt 4 last turn and 4 this turn and then just plummet the guy on my turn. So that would have worked out better if he drew the land last turn. But who's complaining? I'm complaining. Shouldn't be complaining. We got we got there, so. He's gonna tutor up, I would imagine, a removal spell. Because this guy is pretty big and it's gonna deal him 4 more damage here. Um, and then. If I draw another land, I can play the Firewing Phoenix. Preferably, it would be a mountain. Um, but that is probably asking for a little too much. He's thinking about what he needs to get. Plummet isn't going to be it in this scenario. Okay, well, at least we got something we can play. Get in for four. Crop my striking sliver. So I can sliver my way in there and deal him 11 damage over 11 turns. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be Steve Hill the climb. I would imagine he. Uh... Alright, assassinate. Still worth it. It was still worth it to attack. Um, unless I draw the, uh, the boots. Anytime soon, then. Alright, we got another sliver, that's not bad, not bad at all. This guy is a haste, so we get in for free rather than one this turn, and I'm actually pretty excited about that. If we can get close, then we can finish him off with Volcanic Geyser, although that requires more lands than I have right now. Although maybe the one damage is gonna be enough, who knows. Well, next turn, if I draw a land, I actually have lethal with the Volcanic Geyser. No, 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 I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. No, um, in two turns I'll have lethal if I draw a land in, in between those two turns. Ooh. Yep, I'll play that. More haste. Alright, alright, getting some damage done. You'll probably have his play here, I would imagine, or not. If you just land flooded, what's going on? Is he running too much high cost stuff? Uh, can't be sure, don't know, we'll find out, maybe, perhaps, perhaps not. But we are delivering a smashing with only three cards, three lands here. And we may be able to close this game out before he gets anything that uh, puts a halt to my offense. I mean, here he has to play like two dudes, or a dude and a removal spell. Yeah, I'm teaching Volcanic Dragon here. Um, yeah, he could steal it out of my graveyard. 
Eh, whatever. We have we have three dudes, so if he spends a whole turn uh, getting this back and using it as a blocker, then that's okay. Okay, well, that's not okay. <laughs> that is not okay with me. That is. That is pretty okay with me. Wow, look at this. Look at all the slivers here. Sliver, sliver, sliver. And we have first strike as well, which is just amazing. So, he can't even gain life. Like, he has to have fog. He has to have fog. Um, we may as well attack with the whole team. We are playing Grrrl. So, oh, he can gain li life at that point. But whatever, I'm, I'm still dealing with people. So, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Alright, well that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed my uh, smashing with the gruel. GG's. And a... Oh, what's going on here? Control and shift. And a smiley face. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, I am gone. I am gone. I'm not waiting 30 seconds. I was going to go. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy indeed. And uh, my name is Ben Nemo. My name will still be Nemo in the next video. <laughs> Girl smash. Girl bash. See you then.